One thing to talk about about prayer and something that we do with Optimal EFT and the Unseen Therapist, which is a kind of a unique take on it. Um, not, some even think it's going to revolutionize how we pray, but that's we will see about that. You may think that, uh, and I hope you do. When most people pray, uh, they tend to do it in a way that, that is sort of general. Um, and as a result of that, they don't get immediate results. For example, somebody might say, dear God, you know, give me a better relationship. My current relationship does not work. <laughs> I want a better relationship, or I want a new car, or I want, a, I want another job, or you know, they tend to do things in a more general way. And when you pray that way, you know, you're not likely to get an immediate result. Dear God, I want a better relationship. And all of a sudden, some new partner walks in the door, you know, within 10 minutes, and there you are. Well, it doesn't really work that way. You may get a new relationship. You may not, OK? <laughs> One may show up six months from now. I mean, it's not, it's not now you see it, now you don't. It's not instant result kind of thing, OK? As a result, prayer is sort of, mm, uh, lost a little of its appeal to, to many people. Now, we're doing something a little different with prayer, and we're doing it in a way where we do get immediate, or near immediate, results. But we, and that's because we're not praying for something general. And let me take the relationship idea for a moment. Instead of saying, dear God, you know, give me a better relationship, we want to look at what's causing the relationships one has you know, to not be what you want. Okay? And there can be lots of reasons for that, but we really need to look at why they don't have the relationships rather than just give me another relationship. If you've just got another relationship and you haven't taken care of what caused within you the poor relationships in the past, you're probably going to repeat it in some fashion. So let me just use a, an example of how that, how that might work and how a prayer might be more focused and hence get a better result. So someone wants a better relationship. All right, so we, we counsel a little bit, we talk about them, we say, well, okay, you're not having good relationships, you know, why, why might that be? Well, I'm going to have to make some of this up just so you get the idea of it, but the person might say, well, yeah, you know, I've had relationships in the past, and uh, they didn't work out, and it kind of hurts, you know. <laughs> when they don't work out, you get dumped, or whatever the case may be. So when that occurs, um, we want to we want to get some idea of, well, what relationship was it that worked out so bad? What are you replaying, perhaps, nowadays in a new relationship that is messing up, you know, your future pursuits in that line? And so we get back to a specific event, a memory. We call it a specific event. It's an important, important term in, in um, optimal EFT, in the unseen therapist. And so we'll go back. And it turns out, well, OK, at age, at age 13, this young man fell in love with another 13-year-old girl at school. Okay, Madly in love, couldn't stop thinking about her. They dated and had romance and whatever it's you, at age 13 you do. And then she turns around and says, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not so interested in this relationship anymore. See you later. She dumps him. And he takes it really hard. I mean, that really hurts. He has invested his, he thinks, his rest of his life in this monumental relationship. Uh, it meant everything to him. It completed him in his terms and so on. So the pain of that rejection just goes, wow. And he doesn't even want to date anybody for a while. And when he does date other people and he does pursue another relationship, and it starts to get serious, and he starts to really get into it, he remembers what happened at age 13 and the pain of that particular experience. He doesn't want to live that again, doesn't want to relive it. And so what can often happen is that the, uh, as he gets into a new relationship, he starts to 
pushed it away himself. Subconsciously, little things that are said, little things that are done, little difference here, little difference there. Uh, and she begins to say, well, you know, he's not really into this himself, and so maybe she leaves her, et cetera, et cetera. But what he's trying to do is to avoid replaying this big pain he had at one point. And once you understand that's what's really at play, in an, this is an example I'm giving, of course, there could be other, other examples. But once it's really understood, um, then we can go back to that example. We can go back to that specific event and we can recreate that. And, and the way the process might work with it, well, okay, go back there, re imagine that, and tell me on a scale of zero to 10, how intense do you get about that now when you relive that? You'll go back, oh, I mean, that's gotta be a, a nine or 10. You know, easily I can still feel my heart pounding even though it's many years later. You know, I feel very anxious. Uh, you know, uh, my palms are starting to sweat. Uh, you know, a variety of emotional reactions are showing up, you know, physical as well. And so we bring in the unseen therapist for that, back to that time. And we have a way of doing that. She comes in, she brings love into the process, she brings understanding into the process. She understands, he gets the understanding he may have been going over the top a little bit. Um, he can understand a lot of things in there. And he also understands that he's still replaying something that he need not replay and it's costing him, okay? So all those things start to happen when you bring the unseen therapist in. It doesn't happen, you know, over three hours of, of discussion. It can happen like that. All of a sudden, oh, I see it differently. Oh, I see, you know, this kind of thing. And so then when we're all done with that, we go back to the client, to the young man, or the man who's now an adult and was 13. We say, now, go back to that age 13 thing after we've brought the unseen therapist in and revisit that again, and tell me if you're still at this nine or 10. And he goes back and he revisits that. And he goes, no, I, no, I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time finding it. Maybe it's a two, I, no, that could be a zero. I don't know, I just have a hard time finding it. Well, five or 10 minutes before this, you know, he was a nine or a 10. So here we have some obvious improvement and it came about f for what? I mean, there were, nobody took any drugs, nobody did any massage, nobody did any surgery, nobody did anything other than bring in the unseen therapist on, a, on an emotional issue. And I'm not always convinced just because it happens like that, that it's gonna be there permanently. So I make sure, you know, the next day, the next week, this kind of thing, we go back and revisit it again, see if anything else comes up, you know? If something else comes up, ah, oh, we've got a little more to work on, fine. Oftentimes it doesn't, and uh, we're simply done with that. And now, what happened uh, is that we did a prayer. I mean, this whole process with the unseen therapist is like a prayer. Uh, dear unseen therapist, come in and help my specific event that's been causing me some problems. Now we've got a more focus other than just give me a better relationship, okay? And now, now that we have done something with a cause for the poor relationships, ah, the poor relationships can now unfold better. What's really important about that is we saw a near immediate result that we can measure. It isn't, dear God, give me a relationship and maybe six months later, maybe never or whatever, you get something. No, right now, you got something on this memory, it was a nine or 10, now it's a zero, it's a two, I can't find it, what is it? You know, I was gone, okay? And it tends to stay gone. So you have an instant measurement of how well the unseen therapist did. Now that opens the door for prayer because that all of a sudden that now gives you the ability to prayer for other things properly with the right specificity aiming at cause and so on, and get result after result after result after result, okay? Measure, 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 instant, instant, inst or maybe not instant, but in a short period of time, you know? Um, um, and so on it goes. So, so when we learn how to pray and to focus properly 
and get to the real cause, now we're going to start taking prayer and get some real results out of it. And that's what we're into here. I think, I think this is going to open the door. I don't know how open churches are to this kind of thing, but hopefully sooner or later churches will evolve around this. So we've got a big panacea ahead of us.